Mysot, the border crossing between Thailand and Burma. It's one of the areas of activity of the International Institute of Social History, IISH. If Vermeer is the coordinator for the Southeast Asia Department. His contact with the Karen Human Rights Group has come to a decisive stage. The group has a large number of files that reveal the oppression of the Burmese government. They want to give that material for safekeeping to the IISH. So uh, these are the pictures you want us to bring to Amsterdam? Yes. In the same way that A. Fermay tries to bring the current human rights files to safety, the Institute tried to save the archives of oppressed social movements in its formative years. The first librarian of the IISH, Annie Adama van Scheltma, made every effort to save the heritage of Marx and Engels and their followers from the control of the European totalitarian regimes. Archives and collections of Russian revolutionaries, German socialists and Spanish anarchists were brought to the Netherlands in secret to receive a safe place in Amsterdam. IISH's strength lies mainly in being there where rescue work is necessary. Gradually, the Institute didn't focus solely on Europe. In Europe, other countries acquired archives and institutes that could store this kind of material. Dutch emancipation movements, such as Provo, became popular. But also archives of movements that operated internationally, such as Greenpeace and Amnesty International, found a home in the former cocoa warehouse in Amsterdam. From the 80s, one looked further afield. Turkish unions and organizations, Latin America, Iran, India, and Bangladesh. In addition to the core tasks of collecting and storing, research has become important. The IISH is one of the research institutes of the Royal Dutch Academy of Science. Much internationally renowned research was done and published here. IISH's research program focuses on global labor history. Labor's role, labor relations and social movements determine to a large extent the development of modern history. In the past 500 years, events on one continent have strongly influenced the circumstances on another continent. Revealing these sorts of connections are at the core of global labor history. <laughs> 